wearing today with Intel i740 by the books it says this is the first Intel video card I'm very happy that I managed to get one but the problem is is that it, that AGP slot this video card is has is not compatible with my old machine you know that has PCI Express and AGP because this one uh, has that notch uncut the whole purpose today is to see how this uh, I, I want to say i7 <laughs> <laughs> this Intel i740 is working but the best part that I get to use an old machine that I was keeping it for so many years that is an HP that I got for free that has a Pentium 3 inside slot 1 copper mine 866 megahertz it's got one core one thread 256 level 2 cache and this is actually fantastic because it's got an uh, hp motherboard graphics card intel 740 compatible graphics card 500 megabytes of uh, system ram not gonna lie i never thought i will use this computer and i was close so many times to throw this computer out because I was just carrying it with me and I didn't have any purpose for it and I was like why do I keep carrying it because I already have AGP and by mistake I said oh you know what Let, let's put it in the corner and maybe one day I will find something useful or I will throw it I had so many problems on actually starting this computer I had so many problems on starting this conversion from VJ to HDMI so I can record this you know but uh, nevertheless I managed after so long to manage to power up this uh, idea of this old machine with this uh, type of uh, video card today is not about the games today is about starting some games you understand i i don't have any overlay some games doesn't have overlay some games have overlay some is, i just want to start a couple of games and see that this machine is working that's it because uh, this conversion doesn't allow me to start uh, some custom resolution it will be ideal if you play games with this machine on an CRT monitor or a normal monitor that has all kinds of weird resolution but this capture card and this conversion doesn't allow me to go that low in the resolution or some of those custom resolution the best thing we can do now is jump in a couple of games and see how this computer and this video card is holding let's go i'm playing need for speed <laughs> oh my god this is such a big nostalgia trigger oh yeah mclaren f1 this is like the most gorgeous car on this in planet seriously but uh, this is the only thing i know about this need for speed look at the overlay there it's uh, corrupted by that uh, speedometer this is one of those games that actually works on this computer with this uh, intel i740 it managed to start it managed to show i got eight megabytes of vram theoretically this uh, video card can actually run uh, some other games but uh, it took so long i barely managed to find a couple of games that managed to start and i said you know what let's call it a day and uh, move on i like this idea of all machine i remember back in the days i had uh, all the video cards and uh, some s3 two megabytes and four megabytes of uh, vram and it didn't manage to start some games i remember vividly because it required eight megabytes of uh, vram in order to start uh, some specific game when i went into the device manager and i seen eight megabytes of uh, vram versus the four megabytes of vram that says on database this video card has i was like maybe that's why i starting a couple of games like this you know this is need for speed too you know and to have this type of games in an old machine it's actually fantastic there is no question this is nostalgia trigger for me you know when i look at that wattage meter and i say 90 watts consumption from this computer this is so freaking awesome seriously to see this uh, uh, computer running like this i'm not stopping here when it comes to all video cards uh, putting in this machine you know i will definitely definitely continue uh, investigating and trying to see how oh yes <laughs> trying to investigate and see how i can put more games and start some specific resolutions because it's very important for me in this case all right need for speed 3 apparently this is one of the, oh this is maximum details <laughs> I don't have any overlay here, but apparently now I got uh, 90 watts consumption. It looks gorgeous. Look at it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. This uh, game uh, I remember having higher quality with uh, Direct3D video card, you know, like Riva or uh, 
FX, an old FX video card, I think it will be much better because it's using accelerated graphics. But it's using software here and uh, is doing the job, you know. Even like this, it's okay, you know. It's starting the game. I got a game. I got a racing game with me and this uh, Intel uh, 740. It's an achievement, you know, playing with this uh, video card. This is uh, the type of games that you can play on this uh, computer. This is the type of game that you can play on a video card like this. This is not something that you will get uh, high performance. You will get only software uh, mode uh, games and that's it. You know, you need to find games that are working with this. And uh, if you didn't had uh, experience back then uh, with this, then uh, you will have a treat because the um, retro games in this department, it's uh, outstanding. Hallelujah. First game that has MSI Afterburner. Look at it. 25 FPS, 40 MS. You know, I got 350 megabytes of uh, system that I'm utilized here. The Pentium 3 is maxed out, you know, because the game runs on that Pentium 3. One megabyte, so I think that's the VRAM. <laughs> One megabyte of VRAM utilized here, you know. I only got eight, but uh, it, this is equivalent to one gig of VRAM. If you got an eight gig of VRAM, uh, video card you know so yes diablo is one of those games that works really nice on this i will uh, definitely like to play this game this is the right game in some situation let's go outside and see how it's uh, dropping the fps i got like 25 fps but i think that the moment i go outside it's gonna butcher my uh, fps look at that put it to high blend shadows on managed to put a lot of things see look at this i put higher quality 800 by 600 it's, it's dropping the fps sometimes but uh there's a lot of stutter whenever i'm fighting sometimes and uh, it's uh, questioning my performance here with this uh, cpu or this gpu it doesn't matter i'm playing uh, with a pentium 3 and an intel i740 that's it that's the most important thing because that is a 1998 video card this is not something that you get every single day one game that i do want to play on a video card like this is uh, heroes of might or magic and i think in this situation you can see that uh, still don't have any overlay but the game is running with this uh, machine you know it doesn't have any problems it's doing okay and in this case you can see that uh, this is an adequate performance when it comes to an old video card like this an old pentium 3 like this it's doing the job there is no problem on utilizing it you know so in this case i will say this is the right games that needs to be added on a machine like this i mean this is the type of game that i was playing because my list of uh, high-end video card was next to nothing you know so in order to play properly this is what i had nowadays if you are interested on uh, using uh, like I said, a video card like this, an Intel like this, you have no chance if you're not uh, putting games like uh, Heroes of Might and Magic and Need for All, Need for Speed and uh, all kinds of stuff like this, you know, all kinds of games like this. This is one of those games that is working with all the hardware and a lot of people are testing uh, their old machines or old components, you know, when it comes to benchmarks. This is like a standard when it came back in the days to play on your old uh, computer or video card and stuff like that because it was very friendly it was very compatible you can actually see i got like 30 fps 300 megabytes of uh, system ram utilized the cpu it's on maximum load but uh, i have no uh, vram utilization this is in this situation by far the best game that i can play on this uh, video card i can play on this computer with this amount of uh, performance 300 megabytes utilized from 500 this is cool to see i like this idea of uh, real-time strategy with uh, games like uh, this you know with hardware like this apparently it's a fantastic performance not gonna lie it's uh, it's working you know i don't have the msi after burner with me in this uh, game but i got uh, 90 90 watts uh, consumption from this computer and it's doing a fantastic work no problem on utilizing this uh, pentium 3 i wish i can see how much this pentium 3 is being utilized i want i wish i had uh, more specs on this uh, video card to see how it's uh, holding this uh, game or this uh, operating system or this computer you know but uh, at the same time i'm i'm don't care if it's running it's running if it's in software mode it's in software mode and that's it move on there's no problem on actually using this uh, machine on uh, playing games like this you know because back in the days this was what it this was the entertainment for me this was everything can't say nothing bad about this computer because it's running nox and that's it if you 
are interested on playing uh, games that uh, are good for this hardware, this is one of those games that is working with uh, this uh, configuration. Pentium 3, uh, Intel i740, you know, this is the right game. It feels like Diablo, but uh, at the same time, it feels like a Path of Exile, but in this case, you can actually see that it's doing a fantastic job. It's utilizing the computer and it's working you know i got 30 fps and there is nothing wrong with this uh, type of gameplay you know this is the right uh, situation when it comes to old hardware like this i'm actually curious does this game have any resolution 800 by 600 1024 it's got higher resolution and i think it's possible to actually put uh, this game in a better situation if you're interested so at this stage i would say 640 it was a very generic resolution back in the days but uh, it does uh, the job you know so yeah i can say nothing bad about it because it's uh, working funny thing about this uh, gpuz this is a newer version of gpuz 1.18 it doesn't show you a lot of things you know at least in the older version i had uh, the core speed on this video card that was 66 megahertz i think even with an older gpuz i get the opportunity to see this video card's uh, full specs but uh, somebody said in the comment section that uh, why don't you use a newer gpuz in order to see the specs well when you are testing old hardware this is ha what is happening you know you need older version of gpuz in order to see the full specs of those uh, video cards in majority of the time it happened this and uh, i keep looking on the comment section and i updated the software because it needs to show you properly no in some situation you have to downgrade the software in order to have full specs but even like this this software is not very reliable seriously in some situation it didn't show properly but doesn't matter today's purpose was to see this uh, video card in the machine and running it i'm not joking when i'm saying that it took forever to actually see this i740 in the machine running to capture it to have this uh, signal and put it on a, on a capture card and playing some random games just to see if the computer is working that was the whole purpose uh, there's no question that this uh, video card doesn't have any performance because everything was on the cpu but to see it in the pc intel i740 it's an achievement I can make a thumbnail, I can make a title with this, that I made a video with this Intel 740. That's it. This was an achievement for me because it was a piece of hardware that was back in the days. Not specific this video card. I had other types of video cards and I will show you because this is the machine that allows me to put this type of AGP, that 2X socket. Hey, if you have any suggestion for this machine, in the future leave a comment and i will see you very soon